Hi guys, it's Rini, I'm back again. Before I moved to um, the Middle East, before I moved to the UAE, I'd read all of these horror stories about things that could happen to you, things that you can't do. And when I got to Dubai, I realized that the reality was very, very different. So I thought this video would just be quite helpful for people thinking of going to Dubai on holiday and also people thinking to relocate. So I had read all these stories about not having your arms on show or um, not wearing short skirts. Yeah, I generally just stuck with jeans, wore a t-shirt. As I say, take a cardigan with me for any areas that I wanted to just kind of quickly cover up or a scarf or a shawl. When I worked at Emirates, I lived in a place called um, Al Qasais and that was literally on the border of the um, dry state Sharjah. And for me, it was definitely a lot easier to just go into Sharjah, to go to um, Sahara Mall. Shout out to those people that live in Al Nada, okay? So I definitely would always, if I was going to Sharjah, dress a bit more conservatively. The thing I was really worried about was having a relationship in the Middle East. And I've read all these stories like you can't have sex before marriage, you can't have a relationship, you can't have men in your apartment. And I got to Dubai and it was same sex accommodation and this Argentinian girl literally just rocked up with a guy who wasn't her boyfriend that wanted to stay in our apartment. So I was like, it definitely does happen. I have a lot of friends that have relationships with people and are not married and live together and that's perfectly fine for them. I wouldn't say it's actually okay um, to do that in the Middle East, but it happens and everything is just undercover. You just have to be careful and savvy about what you do. The third thing that I was really worried about was drinking in the Middle East. So you have these things called alcohol licenses. You can buy an alcohol license from the MMI don't ask me what that stands for, I'll link it down below. And you have an alcohol license for one year and it means that you can go to certain stores with this card, no joke, and you can buy alcohol. And there were several different stores across, well I lived in Dubai so I'm sure they have them in Abu Dhabi as well, but across the UAE, obviously excluding the dry states for example, Sharjah. And you go, you buy your alcohol, you show your alcohol license, you can take that home and that means that you can have alcohol in your own house and you are legally allowed to drink alcohol in your own home. So the fourth thing that I was really worried about was going to nightclubs and just wondering what to expect. Yes, you can go out clubbing. Licensed clubs are in hotels. Anywhere that you want to drink alcohol in the UAE, apart from your house if you have an alcohol license, is going to be in a hotel because those are the only licensed premises. You can't go, for example, to a shopping centre or a mall like we have in the UK or the US and go to a restaurant there and order wine. They just won't have it. It won't be on the menu. But if you go to a hotel, these places are licensed to serve alcohol. The whole of Dubai is full of hotels, as you can imagine. For those ladies out there, you also have something called ladies' night. There's normally once or twice a week, depending on what, what establishment you go to. And girls normally get free drinks or like heavily discounted drinks as well. So that's one way that they encourage women to come out. So you can go out clubbing, you can have a drink, and you can wear about anything to a nightclub. Just bear in mind that you have to walk from your apartment to a taxi. Taxi driver's gonna probably stare at you. What am I saying? They will 100% stare at you in your mini skirt and look at you like, what the hell's going on? And then you get to the nightclub and everyone is just completely the same. Dressed the same, dancing, kissing. I've seen it all. I have seen people being pulled apart though uh, while actually kissing in the nightclub, but nothing's actually happened to them. Um, in Dubai, I probably wouldn't go that far. Can you wear a bikini? Yes, you can. My first ever mistake moving to Dubai was the second day I got there, I went to the beach. Don't ask me what beach it was, can't remember, even though I lived there for many years after that. But it was a public beach. Just don't do it. It was probably the most horrendous experience of my life. How do I explain this? There's just no way, I'm just gonna have to say it. I went to a beach with some girlfriends, we went in bikinis, there were a bunch of guys who had probably never seen women that half dressed before. They were in their boxer shorts and they were actually touching themselves on the beach. Yeah, that actually happened to me. Really, really, really put me off going to the beach for about a year in Dubai. And then after talking to some other crew that worked for Emirates, I soon realised that I'm just a freaking idiot and that I should just go to the pool, surrounded by other crew or go to a private beach. So other than that, I thought a huge thing would be that I wouldn't be able to eat pork. Not that I eat pork 
a huge amount, but when somebody tells you that you can't do something, you start to think. I remember at the airport the day before I was like, let me just get a fry up, full English breakfast with eggs, bacon, sausages, beans, everything. And I took a picture of like my last ever breakfast. And the people were like, you can eat pork here. It just depends where you go. And this is that a license to serve um, alcohol and pork. And as an expatriate, you soon find out all the places to go for the home comforts that you, you feel like you're gonna miss. It's really weird, but I never really like hung out with people from Asia before. And I was just completely fascinated by um, different cultures and food and languages. In the first year when I worked for Emirates, I was part of the Asian Mafia. I was really, really good friends with a um, South Korean girl, a couple of Thai guys, some people from um, the Philippines, and I didn't really, really mix with anybody from Europe. So those were my initial worries about living in the UAE. Dubai is a very, very multicultural place. There are people from all walks of life and all backgrounds. Um, I would say that it's very easy to make friends out there because you're all in the same boat, especially if you're going out there um, being sponsored on the visa and working for an airline. Overall, I would say that Dubai is a really, really fun place to live. For me personally, I didn't feel like there was enough to keep me living there for such a long period of time. I really missed the seasons that you have here in the UK. And I know it sounds crazy because now that I'm back in the UK, I really, really hate that it's cold and rainy. I did find for me, it was a slightly fake, Place. and I'm going to explain that in more detail. If you want to live somewhere that um, offers you that sort of lifestyle that you can go out partying and brunches and expensive and the finer things in life then it's definitely the place for you. But if you're like me, you might going out just to dance but not going to pretentious places where people look at you up and down from the way that you dress or judge you then I wouldn't recommend it as a place to live. I really hate the pretentiousness. The more money you have, you'll seem to be of the best class, and that's just not me. And that's one of the reasons why I chose to leave Dubai when I did. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope that this has helped anyone that thinking to live in the UAE, thinking to go on holiday. That's it for me today. If you want to see anything else in particular, please remember to comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.